Good morning and good afternoon. Thanks for joining this webinar. My name is Luciana Mendes. I'm a global sales for Freshwater Generator and my colleague Peter Torhaus, who is a product expert, will show you how to ensure uptime for your freshwater generator. If you have any question, please write in the chat and we will do our best to answer either in the chat or in the end of the presentation. During this webinar, we will show you freshwater generator types and features, unscathing dosing, preventive maintenance, compressor and bearing block service, and performance review. So let's start by refreshing your memory of the types of freshwater generator we have in our portfolio. First, we have the vacuum vapor compression distillers for offshore application, known as ORCA Offshore. Its main characteristic is to only use electricity as input to drive process. Arc offshore can produce from 20 to 120 cubic meters per day. We also have the waste heat distillers. Its main characteristic is to use only is to use electricity and a heat source like uh, hot water, steam, or hot oil to drive process. We have two types of waste heat distillers. First, the dolphin that can produce between 60 to 70 cubic meter per day through two stage distillation. And we also have the aqua offshore that produces from 20 to 100 cubic meter per day. What is common to all types of freshwater generator? First, high quality fresh water, meaning below 5 ppm TDS with flexible use for both potable and high quality process water consumers. They are designed in high-grade materials, extending maintenance intervals. It is also available in chlorine-resistant design. The corrugated plates inducing high turbulence, reducing scaling tendency and CIP cleaning need. And last, robust distillation process with less feed water sensitivity compared with membrane-based systems. Now let's focus on the ORCA and the recent upgrades. Uh, the maximum ORCAS capacity increased from 70 to 120 tons per day configuration. It is also fully automatized with a PLC controller, making the operation easier and more reliable. And more recently, it is also possible to include connectivity features supplied with a gateway. This recent feature can help you in first provide data for process optimization and troubleshooting to, divide, to define the vast majority of potential failure modes. It will also give a quicker access to off-level process specialists. And you can also pull out reports automatically in all parameters registered. Now, my colleague Peter will continue to show you how to ensure an uptime. Thanks a lot, Luciana. And hi, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Let's first look at the anti-scale dosing. An anti-scale or scale inhibitor agent is a pre-treatment chemical injected to the feed water before the feed water enters the freshwater generator. Its presence uh, delays the reaction between uh, calcium, magnesium and bicarbonate. Scale formation is reduced uh, signif significantly as the water is being distilled, hence uh, precipitation settling and baking onto the heat transfer surface is more or less prevented. When processing seawater means exposure to scaling as there are so much salts in the seawater, but if operated within design specification and correct anti-scale dosing, this is not a major issue. There will always be soft scale even if anti-scale chemical is used. With the anti-scale chemical, the soft scale is kept to a minimum and with SIP cleaning in place, we remove the soft scale before it turns to hard scale. Cleaning in place will have little effect on hard scale. The two types of scale are soft scale, which is calcium carbonate, that can be prevented with the anti-scale and also removed by cleaning in place. The other type is the hard scale, which is calcium sulfate of many types. This is hard to remove and hard scale needs opening up the plate stack and manual cleaning. A good thing with the plate heat exchanger, which is used for in all Alphaval freshwater generators, is that they are easier to clean, both the hard and soft scale, uh, compared to a shell and tube heat exchanger, and make the heat uh, transfer surface return to original state. The use of anti-scale is indeed recommended, 
it makes a huge difference and I cannot emphasize this enough. So use it and check the dosage uh, regularly. Alpha Laval recommends the use of Alpha, Alpha Con Alltreat 400, which is uh, Kiva and NSF approved for drinking water. This is tested and has a proven efficiency at temperatures up to 85 degrees Celsius and brine concentrations according to Alpha Val freshwater generator design. Some benefits with uh, using Antiscale are lower operating costs, higher output and less maintenance hours, lower spare part consumption and longer equipment lifetime. The Antiscale is not aggressive to heat exchangers, plate gaskets and the, also the glue. If you look at the uh, preventive maintenance, then good maintenance practice is essential for running the orca. Scheduled maintenance keeps a freshwater generator working efficiently, which lowers the total cost of ownership. It helps uh, to avoid unplanned interruptions, which can lead to production losses, high cost of bunking water and even accidents. The recommended, recommended maintenance intervals uh, depend on running hours or a fixed period of time. Uh, proper maintenance help increase the overall lifetime of an orca and will ensure operation reliability and will minimize the repair cost. Benefits and savings for the preventive maintenance are higher uptime, which means less cost of bunker water, delivers peace of mind and operation reliability. It will reduce downtime and production losses and promote safe operation and prevent accidents. Optimize service intervals to meet our customer requirements. Reduce the uh, freshwater generator operation and maintenance cost and will delay investments in a new unit. Alpha Well recommends uh, to follow the maintenance intervals as mentioned in the manual and to keep critical and normal wear and tear parts on stock. Uh, use original OEM parts. Alpha Well can in these uh, cases assist with recommendations if needed. You can also book uh, Alpha Well for a rig survey where an experienced field service engineer will check the performance and condition of the orca and maintenance schedules that can increase production reliability and minimize maintenance cost will be presented in a report. It's a very good idea also to invest in a SIP unit, so possible to perform SIP every three to four months together with inhibited sulfamic acid for the cleaning. Competence uh, training and main of maintenance and operator crew are also recommended. And you can set up a service agreement with Alpha Laval, which can include on-site uh, services. If you have any doubt of this, uh, please contact your local Alpha Laval office. I mentioned SIP a couple of times, so let's have a deeper look into this. Alpha Laval uh, typically remains uh, cleaning in place three to four times per year, even with a uh, correct anti-scale dosing. SIP removes the soft scale only, not the hard scale, before and after performance is in impact. Alpha Valley is not normally called for in for SIP. Uh, it's a quite simple operation, but we very often SIP a unit as a start uh, before troubleshooting or service or even before longer standstill periods. The need for SIP, uh, if not done as a regular activity in your maintenance system, is best uh, identified by following the unit's uh, capacity over time. Other indicators uh, that SIP is needed are low brine circulation flow or increased uh, pressure drop over the brine circulation filter. You can use uh, log sheets to see when it's uh, necessary to perform SIP or implement it as a normal uh, activity every three to four months. Remember when you perform a SIP on the orca to include also the brine cooler not just uh, the big plate stack. The picture you see at this slide uh, show that soft scale is efficiently removed in a typical uh, SIP procedure. The picture shows an, uh, an inspection of the brine cooler halfway through the SIP job, and the right hand picture shows the check valve after SIP cleaned back to original state. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the compressor and bearing block service. Reconditioning of a compressor can restore performance and lower maintenance cost, extend product lifetime and minimize total cost of ownership. Ensure safety, quality, productivity and energy efficiency. You can send in the complete compressor, including motor for overhaul at Alphalwell or just the bearing block. 
We recommend uh, doing this every third year or every 20 to 24,000 hours when the bearing block must be changed or overhauled anyway. And a major overhaul of the compressor is needed. If you have a four orcas or more within your company, you can also make a service agreement with Alphalol where an extra compressor is purchased, which can circulate the platforms while you have one at repair. This way you avoid unnecessary downtime and loss of production. The option to this is to purchase a bearing block, major service kit, compressor belt and compressor tools, and maybe a four to five day service job of an Alphaval field service engineer. Uh, some special tools are needed for the compressor. It's the laser alignment tool, to align the electrical motor pulley and the bearing block pulley. Also the belt tension meter to check the tension of the belt, 40 to 41 hertz, and the compressor tool set for making intermediate and major service uh, on the compressor. Some of these tools are also needed for the, doing the alignment. Some scheduled maintenance of the Orca are 4,000 4, hours, uh, where you need to replace the belt if necessary and check the alignment and the tension. After every 8,000 hours, we recommend to perform an intermediate kit uh, service, and every 20 to 24,000 hours, we have the major overhaul. Here, we recommend to send in the compressor uh, to Alpha Well, so we can also check, uh, crack test the impeller, balancing of the impeller, install new bushing, and install a complete new bearing block, and we also do a test run in our test field. <clears throat> Performance uh, review. There's not always time or competence on board uh, to find out what is wrong. Sometimes things simply do not work properly and the crew may have a hard time to figure out why. It could be due to a long time of a standstill or a new crew on board, or a long time since the training or any active work on the Orca has, has been done. Very often the Alpha Val unit just operates for a long period of time, needing little or no attention and tends to be forgotten. Alphavel can help in troubleshooting by using log sheet reviews, and most common is that Alphavel will provide a manual spreadsheet where operators uh, fill in data for some period of time and then send this back to Alphavel for, for analyze. We now also have a troubleshooting log sheet for the Orca where you can fill out the log sheets and you get pointers and the, or directions of what might be wrong. The Orca will also soon have an online troubleshooting tool where you as a customer can sign up and troubleshoot that way. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we had valuable experience with new technology used for remote troubleshooting using augmented reality and connectivity. When you fill out the log sheet, remember to use this actively and use them to see the differences in the performance. Do not just file them, then the work will be wasted. Sit down and use uh, two to three minutes to check according to the commissioning log sheet and spot the differences. Evaluate these and contact Alphavel if any questions. At a startup, uh, get Alphavel support during the commissioning to ensure a smooth startup and get training for operation and maintenance team. For the maintenance of the Orca, avoid overspending and unexpected shutdowns by doing the right maintenance at the right time. Performing regular cleaning in place will extend time between opening a plate stack and thereby the lifetime of both the plate gaskets and the titanium plates as well. Clean plates will improve performance with a lower energy consumption. Support, when you have uh, questions or in need for troubleshooting, there are Alphavel experts to support either remotely or to come at, to the site, a bit restricted right now, of course, due to the coronavirus. Operation and maintain, maintenance training for staff on board will ensure that the Orca is uh, operated and maintained correctly, and this will give longer lifetime of equipment and staff on board can spend time on other operational tasks. Improvements, uh, optimize your fresh freshwater production to meet changes uh, in process conditions by redesign the equipment or complete retrofit. Monitoring of Orca, you can let Alphavel experts do a rig survey or condition and performance audit to go through the status of the equipment and performance. The result of an audit will give excellent input to a maintenance plan or re remaining lifetime of the unit, as well as give you the needed 
uh, water production. If you have any general questions, uh, please contact your local Alfaval office. If any troubleshooting issues, you can contact service.copenhagen at alfaval.com. Please always remember to state your serial number of your unit. And you can go to the alfaval.com page to find a registration page for the Orca simulator and also the computer-based uh, training for the Orca. Thanks a lot for listening in and let's now go to the questioning and answer session. Thanks, Peter. Uh, before we go to the question and answer section, this webinar will be available on, on our web page and in the page where you subscribe it for this webinar. Uh, so you can check this later and don't hesitate in contact us through through or either the web page or through your uh, local contact. Uh, I cannot see any questions in the in the chat, so if you have just write it down. But we got some questions that we received previously, so I will, I will ask while Peter can answer to us. So can Oflava optimize the freshwater generator process? Yes, of course, Alfarel can. Uh, Alfarel has experts uh, which will analyze and optimize uh, the freshwater generator process, and this can often lead to uh, cost savings for the customer. Great. Uh, who carries out the preventive maintenance? Mainly it's uh, the customer themselves who carries out the, the preventive maintenance. We have some recommendations in, the, in our manual and uh, we recommend the customer to enter these in the, the maintenance system. But also uh, Alphavel can of course be called in for the preventive maintenance like a one year or two year or every five year. Uh, then we can come out and uh, make the maintenance for the customer. Uh, is is it also possible to avoid energy loss? Yes, uh, the the orca is. Uh, if you have energy losses, this is normally related to leaks. Uh, either of the, it could be many places for the orca. Uh, when you have a, a leak on the orca, we recommend you to make a a leak test, and you can also check the flow of the of the PHEs, the smaller PHEs, the the briner and the uh, and uh, distillate coolers uh, to check that they have the correct flow into them. And uh, this, uh, the outlet temperature of these two uh, PHEs has to be five degrees higher than the, the seawater temperature. This way we keep the, the energy inside the orca, which is very important for, for the orca. But uh, mo most important is that to check for leaks and make a, a vacuum test of the, of the unit. Uh, Peter. During during the presentation, you mentioned about the compressor and the bearing block. So, which parts have to be sent to Alpha Lavo in order for reconditioning it? When you want to send in the the compressor, you have to send it in together with the compressor motor. Uh, so this is sent as as one unit, as uh, the motor is also overhauled actually, and the, the, we use the motor for testing in the test field together with the compressor. Uh, so these are tested together and you have to send them in, in one box or you, of course you can send them in two boxes if you want that. The bearing block is sent in uh, as a bearing block itself with a, with a cooling disc and also the pulley for the, for the bearing block. And important to notice here is uh, if you are outside the EU, then you have to send in the shipping details for us as well so we can avoid the, the custom, uh, com customs uh, tax. Okay, I think that's the question that we had for today. Uh, if nobody has any other questions, uh, we would like to thank you very much to participate in this webinar and we stay in touch. Goodbye.